but I'm having quite a bit of fun with this idea of granddads of using a tube or a ring, cardboard ring, for the structure for a pulse motor. And this was the first one I made here and uh, I showed my last video. And then uh, any sort of a cardboard tube you've got, you can make a structure for a pulse motor out of it. And this is a little ring from a tape reel, which is what uh, granddad used. And I just built it up with a needle and a rotor with three, uh, three magnets on it. And then um, I'm not using any magnets on it. I'm just using crazy glue with a hole drilled in there. And then uh, the stick on the bottom for the needle to run in. And even with just that simple idea, the things run. And they, they run pretty darn good. And I just think that's a real simple uh, answer to making a structure for a pulse motor is this idea of using a cardboard ring and granddad used magnets for the suspension but like I said I just punched a hole in the cardboard a big hole much bigger than the needle and then uh, made a, a bushing using crazy glue and then on the bottom it's just running uh, on the bottom of uh, at the stick with some oil on it and uh, like I say that makes a rather effective structure for a pulse motor and very simple almost anyone could make one you use a needle and a cap this is a water bottle cap from a standard uh, plastic water bottle and then some uh, magnets on the inside of it I'll show, show you here there's three magnets on this one and then a little uh, reed switch driver circuit for the driver you can use a number of different methods to drive it with but that's what I've got there is a reed switch and a coil of wire and then uh, the super capacitor which is that 2.7 volt uh, tin farad and you just uh, load it up with three volts but uh, yeah this this idea granddad had of just using a cardboard ring and making the whole structure for the the rotor assembly out of a cardboard ring is really a cool idea. I hadn't seen it before. Thanks for watching.